One Owner Car Guy here, and what I got for you today is the most unique vehicle that I've ever had in my life. Had the pleasure to have. I know I've had around 5,000 rigs, and I've never had anything this unique. Um, this is a one owner 1976 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40, and I guess what makes this the most unique rig that I've ever had in my life is the mileage. Um, this thing set out on somebody's ranch and um, it was never used. There's 5,800 original miles on the rig. Um, I get stuff. I've got a great guy for paint, great guy for interior, all that good stuff. I could not bring myself to do anything to this rig. This is the original stuff on it. This is originally how it is. Nothing's been done to it. Um, and I didn't want to do anything to it. The shape it's in, it would be very cheap to restore, very easy to restore. Um, as far as restorations go, I mean, I, I just wouldn't touch it. It's a one owner thing. It, honestly, it belongs in a museum. Um, whoever has wants bragging rights for having the coolest off road rock climbing super slam mobile and machine, this is it. And there's no second chances. Get this before someone else does. There's nothing else like this that exi exists exists there you go um i needed a drink before i started this and i don't have a refrigerator up here or a drink didn't bring it with me i'm gonna show you the door panels oh my god this stuff this wouldn't even look at the pedal assembly amazing i'm gonna roll it forward a few inches to where the sun don't put the kai boss on our whole video here so, oneownercarguy.com, Nathan, 406-544-6919, that dog dislikes me, I tell you, dislikes me a lot. I'll go around here and show you any minor damage, and just minor damage, these things usually get rusty and stuff, and this one is not. As you can see, you got a couple little marks there, just kind of a checking, rock chippy type things. And um, original key still fits the gas tank. I love the way the doors are bolted on and stuff. Little patina around that kind of stuff you can see on there. And these are in great shape. A little patina around the edges that you can see. Mirrors in there in great shape. Um, the top sides and doors come off of these. Window flips forward, bolts through that little hole there onto this little heel hole here and clicks down or something. Louvered hood. Um, this is the worst on the body I found. Looks like it started something. He might have put something on it. Wheel wells are in great shape. There's spots there, armor all. I put a little... I couldn't help but put some armor all on his beautiful Yokohama Geolander HTs. Um, little titties all over the side of this thing. And... Um, They've been on a little while. There's a teeny bit of dry rot starting. Nothing serious there. They're in good shape. Um, I'd say 95% tread. Um, this truck is in great shape. Little little chips, miscellaneous, that you see on it, around it. A um, little corrosion on that cover here. Nothing's rusted through anywhere. Little pieces like this. And like I say, I could get this thing painted for you. Get it all taken down. Have a little bit of welding on this right piece right there to get it repaired right. Uh, oh, a little ding in that right there. And I was going to do it. Um, between 24 and 2800 bucks, and it would be just about perfect. And from there, interior. And um, I'll show you that. It's almost perfect now. A little scratch there. Some scratches on this. A little ding right there. There's another little, little or ding there now, huh? And, um, a little bit of something on that from getting in and out. You can see where you wore off a little bit of paint from getting in and out with your boots. This paint still shines. Here to tell you that. A little corrosion around this thing here. You can tell the rod for the mirror. Super clean rig. Caps and wheels look great. Let me show you the underneath before I forget. Oh, well, let me show you this. 5,800 miles. Check this out. The paint hasn't even came off of the ball bearings yet. 
it's hard to hold this in between this extended bumper. So you can see there, you still got the original paint around the ball bearings. Um, let me show you up in there. It's hard with this sunlight. I'll get you another angle too. There's just no rust up in here. Clean as can be. Patina on the frame there. There's no rust anywhere. No rust through, you know. You can see there. You got the color on it. But beautiful rig. And I'm um, sure there's a wet gasket or something somewhere. It's an older rig. And um, basically, a guy, you can either dump four or five grand into it and make it just absolutely awesome. But the thing is, is it's absolutely awesome like it is since it's original. I mean, I just wouldn't want to do much to it because it belongs to the museum. That's all there is to it. Ding right there. Ding right there. Ding. A couple little door dings and stuff. And right there. And I show 99%. I really try here. I do. Some little miscellaneous scratches. Scratch here. Little corrosion pieces there. Now, the worst of any corrosion on this vehicle is where they all do it. I'm actually proud of it. That's the worst of anything on it. Um, and right there, just a little top surface and a piece in the corner. The hinge got a little bit original stuff there. I couldn't bring myself to get that de-stickered. Looks great on there. Been on there forever. Um, bent on that step. I don't know if that's factory or not. But it's got a little bit of a... Got a little less of a bend to it now. But there's a little bit of bend to it. And it needs to be heated up and straightened out. Pool hooks back here and everything. <clears throat> California rig. Um, that shock boot is mashed. Great shape. That's all there is to it. Great shape. And, oh, that piece of rubber around the lenses. Lenses are in great shape. Crack in that one right there. Rubber around the lenses is corroded. No crack in this one. But the rubber around the lenses is getting older. And you, oh, I wanted to pull this up for you and show you that this side is the same with the corrosion in the corner. And a little right there, right where they all get them. But usually it's just a heck of a lot worse than this. I'll um, show you that back in the house. You know, I think he dinked something with that just lightly. Just scraped it or something because that light just looks like that rubber piece is off a bit. It is. Now this one might be... It is. It's popped out a different way. So, and there's a crack in that one. So a little alignment on them. Um, geez, man. That's about all there is to say about it outside. A few miscellaneous little teeny dings on the side there. OneOwnerCarGuy.com um, Oh, the emblem is missing right here. And like I say, just a little bit of money, a guy could really redo it cheap. I just hesitate to do anything to it because it's so nice and original and I think it's worth more like it says. Um, OneOwnerCarGuy.com Make sure and check out my other videos. I've got a lot of videos on here. Lots of one and two owner classics and lots of cool stuff like this. It's just odd and unique. Um, you can reach me anytime on that phone number, 406-544-6919. I'm going to go ahead and take you on a test drive here, and then we'll go up and show you the interior on it. Um, this will be a little bit longer of a video, um, but if you're buying this, I want you to see everything. And exporting, import, I will export this to any country around. We'll import it right to you. I'll help you with all the paperwork and all that. Easy process. We do it all the time. Any country, no problem. Um, Europe is really easy. Shipping to Rotterdam for anything like this is usually about thirteen fifty or so, uh, plus one hundred fifty to port. Um, so anywhere you are, give me a call. I just had a guy call from Israel today, and I, I do anywhere. Let me get this thing wrapped around my hand because it's going to be a little bit harder to do this test drive. I wanted to show you this up here again. I mean, look at this. The pedal linkage. It's just like new. I mean, it's just, look under here. Well, I got the original California blue plate toolkit there, of course, but look at the shine on that piece back there and everything.
Man, this thing's so nice. There ain't no wear on the pedals. It's just, you can tell the guy has some boots on or something in it, wore a little hole in that. Look at the passenger one. There's no, no wear with the side. Oh, and look at this. I'll show you again, but amazing. And uh, these things would be long ripped off, ripped apart, you know. Okay, if I lose this for some reason, I will redo and clip it in, but I hate editing my videos. There's your, oh, i got to show you the odometer. I haven't showed you that yet. Six digit, 5,700 on it, or 58. There's 57 when I got it. I've drove it 100 miles. Runs great. Oh, look at that uh, brake light down there. Comes on. Oh, wow. It's only on when you think about that, would you? Only when the brake's off does the brake light come on for the emergency brake. You learn something new every day, I tell you. I feel like Atari. The old John Wayne movie. I'm on safari. Hope you can hear me. It's a little louder than my normal Mercedes Benz I'm driving. I keep it under the speed limit here on stuff, but the speed limit here is 40, and you're right up to it in this rig. Very nice truck. That's all there is to it. Okay, this is going to be a little difficult with the camera, but it's tight on my hand tight, and second gear, done it! Sorry, I gave you the dash there for a second. And I'll bet you a guy could put plugs and wires or something on it. I haven't done anything to it. It's just like it was when I picked it up. Uh, we washed it. Need a quick detail on it, you know. Um, normal type thing. I didn't. I sure wanted to do paint and everything and have to be perfect. And then I see the miles and I don't want to mess with it. It's just the most original thing a guy could come across. Jag there coming up soon. Got my dad's F350. Pretty much everything up here is sold except for the backhoe. Thirteen minutes, huh? Try not to run it too long here. I'm trying to show you everything. All the gauges work, by the way. That is too cool how when you hit the brake and the sticker shrinkage. You got proper sticker shrinkage on it. Sticker shrinkage on everything. Puffy and patty. Oh, I thought I had it focused on there. Puffy and patty as can be. I think these tighten and loosen them up or something. I don't know. Like I say, door panels are beautiful. Pedals, beautiful. Floor underneath this, beautiful. It's just awesome. I mean, it gets no cleaner. Like I said, I got the one of the California plates original. Um, there's that stuff. Show you the bag of tools and the jack again. And the jack rod is in the back. Jack rod! Everything's in great shape. Let's see what's in here. Seats? Beautiful. All there is to it. Beautiful. See a little sanding blasting, sanding down, a little paint on the... Oh man! But the chips add so much... I don't know, personality? Is that the end? The door is open and closed. So, oh, I want to show you this. He had put this on it. The older guy that had it. Um, so I don't know. It just definitely does keep a little bit of windage out. But And you can see the factory piece right there. But he added that. So I want to be up front on that. This piece is still in pretty good condition. Although chewed up on the corner. 
where they get it. God, it closes nice. Let's go ahead and show you in here. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Nathan 406 544 6919 And the uh, doors open and close perfectly on this. Original wiring and everything on it. Oh, there's your jack rod. It's flip up just fine. Oh, the headliner. It's got the factory roll bar. And what is that? Oh, that's right. I had him wipe this all down. And I had a little bit of moisture on it. Beautiful rig. Everything on it is just as nice as can be. Yeah. Moisture. Beautiful truck. All there is to it. Oh, this piece is getting a little chewed up and everything. Show you again under here while I've got it in the shade. Trying to show you everything again while I got it in the shade. Different angle and such. Oh, you can see a wet spot right there. <clears throat> I'm sure you're getting some. Can you see up in there? I can't. So somewhere up in there there's something damp. Some kind of gasket or something. Amazing condition. Amazing condition. I believe there might be a two inch lift on it. Three inch lift. Um, I'm not sure. And I don't know exactly how to tell. Except for the tires are awfully large. And I think these say Rancho. Which matches the shock, so you can see the R I M C. So I don't know, tow hook there. Ah, uh, it's right here where's where I was. Lost track of myself there. One owner car guy dot com dot com and a little corrosion there, but no rust through. And see, I had them power wash stuff, and guaranteed, you power wash on these seams here, and it blows some water in through, and they didn't wipe it down in here. They didn't know, of course, but it did that. Seats are in great shape. Dash padding's in great shape. This is what the headliner looked like. And I ordered the new stuff with the foam backing to go in here. That's the one thing that I just think it'd be neat to do to keep it looking really nice. God, I wanted to sand this stuff down and just get it all nice. And I mean, it'd just be it's so easy to fix this rig up. But, show you under the hood. Get you back out in the sun. <clears throat> and call it a day here for this thing. I don't know if this hinges down or what. Maybe you do. Comment. I would like to know. Um, let me get this unwrapped in my hand. And maybe I can... I'll show you this when I get it opened here. Talking about. There we go. Get my glasses back on. Okay, I had to use my glasses because there's that little right there. I can't. Oh, here. Hey, let me get my hood rod. Oh, put it right where the camera goes, of course. Okay, here we go. This will be my thumbnail now, the side of the truck. Little gink right there. It allows this not to come off of it. Same thing here. My god, a guy just make this look a little better right here and that casing there? Oh, jeez. But I didn't want to do nothing to it. This piece right here, not even 
hardly got any of the paint off of it yet. Um, this thing is just nice as it gets. That's all there is to it. Original stickers on just everything. That's not an original one, I think. I think an Excel one. He upgraded the coil or something, I'm sure, probably. More stickers. Get yourself a Chilton's or a Haynes, and you can still work on this rig. It's a really easy type of thing. Um, that's pretty much what I can show you on this bad boy. I mean, it's pretty much just show you what a Land Cruiser that somebody's not used very much looks like. Um, you ain't finding a nice, nice, a nicer one. If you're looking for one of these and you want the bragging rights, here they are. Get them now, because whoever gets this has the nicest one around. That's all there is to it. Um, cases on the lights. Just, oh, come on. Ding right there. You know, that's not even a ding. I'll bet you that's a factory riveting thing there, the way they... I'll bet you it is. I don't know. No, that's probably a ding. You probably had a winch. I don't know. It could be either or there. I think it's a ding. The more I think about it. Roll this thing back a little ways here. Nathan, 406... 544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. Help you export this anywhere you want to go with it. One owner, 5,800 original miles. Runs like a champ. Ready for you. You want to go climb with it? Climb with it. Do whatever you want with it. This is a bad, bad rig. And it ain't going to last. Um, check the ad for all the info and stuff. Or if you can beat the eBay ad coming, you can give me a call right now. Like I say, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Nice as it gets. I ain't going to say it's flawless. You can see the little dings and everything I showed you in this 22-minute video. But um, that's it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you on it because I just want to make sure and show you everything. And Man, that's about all there is to say. So give me a call. No matter where you are, we will get this to you. And like I say, most unique thing I've ever done out of almost 5,000 cars here. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Reach me anytime. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Thanks for watching.